What is up YouTube Modern Mods and we're back today. We're doing another LED hood strip. This one's gonna be the most upgraded model by CarXK. Uh, we're gonna be doing it today on this BMW, but no matter what car you got, I'm gonna show you exactly where you wire this, where you need to wire this up to, to make this thing function properly. This is gonna be just white, but it's, uh, it's a totally new design, guys. It's a, you know, pretty neat looking LED strip in here that I've actually never seen before. So I'm super excited to see how this looks. I think it'll really clean up the look on the uh, BMW. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so first thing you wanna do coming up to the hood, um, obviously you wanna find your location on where you're gonna put this. There's a few places you can put it. Some people put it, you know, depending on the car, along the front here. Um, so not necessarily on the hood. Um, in my case, in the cases that I do them, I do them on the hood. So I'm gonna align mine along this hood top trim here. And what you wanna do first is you wanna clean your surface area. So uh, some Windex or anything like that, nothing greasy like um, Goo Gone or anything that's gonna leave a film or a waxy, you know, smooth uh, surface because you want this to be able to stick to it. So just some, you know, basic Windex, uh, Dawn dish soap, anything like that. Just clean it up real nice, clean your surface area up, and then you wanna apply your product. So once you go to apply the product, you wanna measure out and map the length you want an even length and really good tip here one end of these are always going to have a power wire so the power wire is the wire that's going to contain your red and black right there you want to have that end whether it be um you know hood or down here closest to your fuse box because obviously you're still going to have to add extension wires so um in this case on this bmw 325 um 2006, the fuse box is right here. So I'm gonna have my power wire ending here. Then I will run the rest of my extension wire to the fuse box that's right there. So with that being said, I'm gonna map it out and I'm gonna stick it on the car and show you what that looks like. All right, so there it is guys, you got it mapped out now. And I tried to evenly spread to both sides that length. This one is very long. Um, there's multiple options you can choose from but we just went with the longest one to give you the best detailed look of it. And it stuck very well, honestly. Um, the stick down was great. I got it in there. Uh, I formed it around all the little imperfections and it stuck in all the crevices and it's good to go. So really make sure you clean your area. The cleanliness is what's really gonna help that sticking. Um, but other than that, that's cleaned, stuck down. Now we're onto our next step, which is our wiring. And to be honest with you, the length that it gives you, I might even be lucky enough not to have to add extensions to it. So, you know, you know, splice in uh, positive and negative um, to the cable that it already comes with. So that's, that's really cool too. So now that you are on your wiring step, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your red and black here that it comes with, and you're gonna find your fuse box. You're gonna wanna look for two fuses. It's gonna be your headlight fuse or your ignition fuse depending on what you want to do. Ignition fuse is going to power on the lights when you turn on the ignition of the vehicle with the headlights on or off. Does not matter. It's going to run whenever the engine is running. Headlight fuse will fire this light on only when your headlights turn on. So tons of options you can choose from um, color-wise on their website, but just depending on what you want to do, you, uh, you really want to choose between those two power cycles there. Hey okay, guys, so we have the power connected in. Um, I connected it in right to my headlight power and negative because that's the way um, he wants it in the car. He doesn't want it all time running, just wants it to the headlights. So real quick, we're going to turn them on. And as you can see, there it is right there. It gives a nice... Nice glow to it. Definitely accents it pretty well. Definitely looks good. Um, the two parts right there on the end, there and there are not the bulb going out. It's just the bumper, like the stop bumper on his uh, hood. And I didn't want to remove that. So uh, not very noticeable at all, unless you're like down in it like I am. But I think the lighting looks pretty good. So let me show you how I hooked the power up real quick and then we'll get a couple night shots. So just to show you, we got the power ran through here, ran down, I zip tied it, 
Put my heat protected on, ran it through, down. Had to add some extra wire to connect, and I connected right in it. I connected it right into the positive and negative coming off the headlights. So very simple connection, um, not hard at all. You know, red to black, or red to red, black to black, color matching. Super easy stuff. So. I hope this video showcased these lights. I hope, you know, these lights will suit you and your car. And I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed the video. Please feel free to check out more of my videos, more mods coming. Um, tons of different mods. I've done a lot of the hood strips just because there's been so many variations of them that, uh, you know, people have been asking to see them. So I've just been trying to showcase how they look. Um, enjoy the night shots. And until the next one, guys, peace.